Hi there. Many others like you have asked, what does the Bible say about doing drugs? Let's find out, shall we? You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. The Bible does not directly address any form of illicit drug use. There are no express prohibitions against cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, or methamphetamines. There is no mention of marijuana, cannabis, peyote, shrooms, or LSD. Nothing is said about huffing, snorting, dropping, smoking, vaping, shooting, licking, or any other method of ingestion. This doesn't mean that recreational drug use is biblically permissible, though. To begin with, Christians are under a universal mandate to obey the laws of the land and can only disobey when the laws violate any divine imperatives. Simply disagreeing with the law does not constitute a license for breaking that law. Many have argued that marijuana prohibition is hypocritical and cite the allowance of nicotine and alcohol consumption. Heartfelt disdain for the law does not justify impunity towards it, though. Jesus rebuked the Pharisees for turning the law of Moses into an excessively oppressive yoke, but he still required his disciples to submit to their unfairly harsh demands. Dutiful submission to authority, despite perceived unfairness, is God's high standard for us, and this includes Mary Jane legislation. Born-again Christians are constrained by a mandate to live above reproach for the sake of the gospel. And needless to say, criminality is highly reproachable. Christians are required to be good stewards of what God has entrusted to us, regardless of the legality based on our national identity. This includes our earthly bodies. Unfortunately, illicit drug use is an extremely effective way to destroy one's health, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. Dr. Alan Leshner, director of the National Institute of Drug Abuse, makes a statement to this fact. Pause the video for time to read it. Marijuana, while being the least harmful of all illicit drugs, is still potentially lethal. Though seemingly impossible to overdose on weed, the potential fatal risks of lung cancer, emphysema, and other forms of COPD caused by marijuana smoke still remain. Other ingestion methods maintain negative physiological and psychological consequences. Beyond stewardship, as Christians we have been bought with a price. By indwelling us with his spirit, Christ has turned us into organic temples. Caring for our health is now a matter of reverential piety. This requirement is both wondrous and terrifying. Another biblical principle concerns our susceptibility to deception. As fallible creatures, we are prone to delusion. All of the apostolic exhortations to remain sober-minded and alert are designed to remind us that we must be vigilant against the schemes of the devil. In conclusion, psychological addiction is the enslavement of the mind, characterized by obsession and no desire to quit. Users tend to say things like, I could quit if I wanted to, but I just don't want to. This attitude tends to ensure long-term drug use in defiance of a very poignant biblical principle that no one can wholeheartedly serve two masters. Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. That answers your question, what does the Bible say about doing drugs? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find an in-depth article with citations and resource suggestions. If this helped you as much as it did others, we'd invite you to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, as always, just keep asking.